So I got this session open now. Uh, what I did was I actually used Ableton. Um, comparing to, I think Be Fine was done on Logic. So I worked on Ableton. Um, there's no right or wrong door. It's whichever you feel comfortable with. Um, for me, I was just really, really comfortable with Ableton and that really worked for me. Um, that time I showed where I started from uh, a line, which is this. Yeah, I believe I showed this as well in part one. And with this, when I got it, I got it from Splice, which was just a loop, uh, a guitar loop playing from Splice. And I really like the whole idea from it. Um, I did show as well where I got the inspiration from. It was from um, Midnight Kids, and I really like his stuff. Um, he, his song, which I shared as well uh, in the last video. So I got inspired by that. And from there, I layered stuff, you know, with Omnisphere. And I remember, I did show Omnisphere. So I layered with another layer after that, and I built things from here. And then usually what happens after that is I then try to... Okay, let me show this. Actually, actually all these are the different channels, and it was... Oh, actually, it was about 70 channels. Not that bad, considering. Um, so I did... So what happened was after that, I kind of like laid the idea, the chords throughout the song. Um, and I referenced, like say, Midnight Kids in terms of structure. Um, actually, I, I kind of really follow his structure almost uh, like 80%. Um, and then from there, I laid a lot, a lot of stuff as well. I have the synth bass here, which I use Massive. Uh, unfortunately, I froze the file so you can't see it. I do use a lot of presets. Um, and to me, presets really work. doesn't really matter. Like, uh, to me, like, the point is trying to get things done quick rather than trying to create your own presets. So nowadays, I think a lot of people uh, just use a lot of presets available. And there are a lot of, um, you know, people creating presets. And they actually allow people to use it, use them as well. There's some fee to it, but for me, uh, yep, most of it, I do pay a, a certain amount to actually own the presets. So from here, let me see, where do I show you a preset, 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 serum. Oh, I also freeze my, fortunately, I freeze my preset, but I can unfreeze it, you know. Yeah, you can unfreeze stuff. Okay, if I were to show what serum is like, oh, look at the processing I did. So originally, I would use another sound which was just a simple oh hang on yep a sim simple um sound from here so i i kind of like lay it and processed it quite a lot with serum and then i, I had like guitar effects and i actually layered the chain with um some saturation as well and this was by fat filter love their products and I actually have compressors here as well and then an auto filter to give actually this sound. So let me just play back. Oh, sorry, wrong one. This one. Then you can hear. You see, without all these layers, right? Without the processing, you can hear the sound is just like this. Let me increase the sound a little bit. Yep, so you saw that to this. Yeah, so that's the difference, you know, and then if you have some delays, which I did. So anyway, that's what happened. I'm just going to let you hear the drop. This is more preview, not really an in-depth um, tutorial. But what I'll do is just show you this drop. The chorus build to the drop. So this is the preview. Okay, wait, let me just mute, <laughs> unmute this. Unsolo it. I, I, I need to unsolo it. Unsolo, solo. Okay. Let's hear this again. 
Yep, so that was the pretty much the chorus part and the drop. So I had my friend still help me with the vocals, of course. Um, he helped me write the melody and come up with the lyrics. On top of it, who actually, I just, I just wanted to make it a bit more organic and I got my friend Steve Lam to actually help me with guitars. Great guitars. I mean, with having these guitars in, it really helped lift the song rather than it all being programmed but actually we had like some organic touch to it and I really like this sort of like um, music that electronic music that actually has the organic touch to it which is uh, guitars and I, I like guitars I, I can't play guitar so I always get my friend Steve to help me play and I, I really like his tone so that's how we actually he actually collaborated and yeah so when i got the whole demo out and i just sent it to him same thing i did to Stu, and Stu actually just gave me uh the melody first and after that um i passed the 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 actual track to steve to help me with guitar parts which is this yeah uh let me see i think his guitars are all here yeah so we have a combination of um, actual live guitars and programmed so the program let me see where is the here is the guitars so Steve actually helped me lay down um, he recorded from from his home So these are all the guitars that he helped me lay it in and he gave me also and and that was really amazing you know with that guitar guitar sound and tone and with that it lifted up the song and made it really special really different so that that's pretty much what I'm going to show for now. Um, I will drop snippets of um, previews and teasers of the song. Once I get the designs and all that sorted, which will be very, very soon, uh, you'll be able to hear this song. I'm hoping to drop it by end of Feb, which is uh, in a couple of weeks. Stay tuned, um, stick around, and you'll be able to hear something coming up maybe in Instagram or perhaps even in YouTube or even just, I don't know, Facebook. I'm not really too sure yet, but I'm just waiting for the design as well for me to actually then shout out and kind of have a consistent team that leads towards the album. So stay tuned and I hope, um, yeah, the song will be able to be picked up by radio, hopefully. Um, no one has actually replied me yet, but I'm still trying to set it out. If not, hey, you'll be on Spotify, in a couple of weeks time for now please do take care of yourself and do take care of others